Hey, what's up, PLTW teachers? I've uh, been hearing a lot of questions recently about, well, what are you doing about engineering notebooks? And, you know, are you having kids uh, take scans of these pages and turning those into the LMS that you're using or, you know, whatever that is? Um, so this is something I just ran across the other day. I'd never heard of Jamboards until uh, I was taking, talking with a, a couple of the master teachers. Um, I never used them before. A lot of people are using them for like online instruction, but I might have an answer for you and how to create an online, or I'm sorry, electronic engineering notebook. Uh, so I think this would possibly be able to work out for you. So let me just show you what I'm sort of talking about or something I was kind of thinking of. So if you come up here and go to new under Google Drive and go to more, you're going to see that Google Jamboard is one of the options that you can pick. We pick on Google Jamboard and this is what it's going to look like. All right, so right off the bat, we can come up here, go up to background, go to background and we can switch this over to like an orthographic grid. All right, so we can kind of set this up for it. All right, and then what we can do is we can come in here and we can start adding text. So let's just go ahead and just pop in our text right here. I'm gonna come up here where it says normal and I'm gonna say I want this to be like title text. So I can come in here and I can put in my actual, you know, like, um, you know, title for the activity I'm working on. So I'm gonna use the old curriculum on this. I'm gonna say activity 1.4, we'll call this one product improvement. Okay, so we could easily go out there and just pop that in. All right, like I said, we can come out here uh, and start adjusting these if we want. We can adjust them, okay, whatever. But we can go ahead and just simply put our title out there in there. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is come in here and put in uh, some more text. And this time I'm going to say I want this to be a subheading. So I could come in here and just drop in, okay, my introduction, just like so, okay. And I could just start typing away from my introduction, okay, put all that stuff in there into that text box. I can now go ahead and just expand that over just like so. All right, so we're not just limited to text on this one. Okay, we can also come out here and actually, uh, you know, draw some lines if we want to. So we could easily come up here and switch this up. Okay, start drawing lines if kids want to go ahead and just do that freehanded. Uh, what uh, students can also do is if you hold down shift, okay, and pick and hold, okay, students can also come out here and draw straight lines, okay, using, okay, that, uh, just that simple line command. Um, you also have the ability to switch this up and go to like a marker. Okay, you can also switch up color if you'd like to do that. Okay, you still have the ability to do it. All right, and then we obviously have an eraser we can use. And this is kind of cool. It doesn't just do the whole entity. You can come in here and really clean this up if you get in close. All right, so that would be kind of helpful when it comes to, uh, to sketching. All right, so just wanted you to see that those are all there. That's available for you. All right, we also have sticky notes out here. Okay, so we can type in, you know, any sort of sticky note. Okay, you can say save on that. Okay, cancel out on this, and now you have a sticky note. Okay, you can go out there, you can rotate this. I believe you can also expand this as well if you want it to be a larger sticky note. All right, it's just something maybe to help you get your students organized. I don't know. All right, it's going to be totally up to you to determine what it is you're sort of looking for. All right, so uh, the other next thing is um, maybe you have something in software, and uh, you want to go ahead and just uh, bring in... Um, you know, maybe an image of something like a screenshot from, from Fusion or, or Inventor or whatever, we can do that as well. So if that is a case where you want to bring in some sort of an image, uh, you can easily do that just by coming over here, going to Images. Okay, you can add an image. Uh, but in our case, I'm going to say we're using Fusion 360. Okay, I'm finding one is I'm looking for. I can just simply use Snipping Tool real quick. Okay, I can go ahead and just snip a hold of this and just save that. And we'll just go ahead and put this out on our desktop. We'll just call this one construction block assembly. Okay, so we can take care of that. All right, when it comes to the Jamboard itself, okay, all we have to do, like I said, just grab this image. Okay, we can do an upload. Okay, we can go out there and find wherever that image is. Okay, we can go ahead and just drop that in. All right, so that's going to come through. So it's just a really easy way of taking care of that. Once again, you can you know, maximize, minimize this, expand it, whatever it is you're looking for. All right, so that's something that's pretty cool. Now, uh, Jamboard as of right now does not allow videos to be popped in, uh, but check this out, all right? There's actually something you can use. Uh, this is an extension for uh, Chrome, it's called Chrome Capture. And what you can do is, is if the students are wanting to put some sort of a video in there, uh, what they can do is they can come up here and use this uh, Chrome Capture. And then what's going to have you do is just basically go and window around the area that you're wanting to snag. Okay, I can go ahead and hit okay. the play button. All right, so I have. And then I can go ahead and hit corners. this video. Okay, then I'm. Wanting, and you can see at the bottom left, it's now is starting to grab all these frames on this. All right, and it's actually going to go out there and down. I don't know. it's going to create one inch. a GIF file. 
All right, so we have now gotten that GIF file. Okay, you can see all the frames it was basically picking up on that. We can go to save and we can just simply save this, okay, out there on um, our desktop. So we'll go ahead and just save that up. And once that is done saving, what we can do is jump back over into Jamboard. I'm sorry, it's gonna download it. Okay, and then what we can do is come over here, go to images, select the file, files from the device. We can jump in here to downloads. We can find that, we can say open. Okay, it's gonna upload this. And then what we can do is, is we can go ahead and just drag that right into place wherever that needs to be. And you're going to see how this GIF is going to play. All right, so it's a great way you can bring, you know, videos in, even though it's not actually technically a video. All right, so with Jamboards, these are created from different jams. So if you want to go onto a second page, you can just simply come here, start again with your background, switch that up if you want to. All right, and you can kind of continue the process. All right, so if you're looking at this and you're thinking to yourself, isn't this all in landscape? Yep, I have found no way to switch this over to portrait. Um, but I don't really care because in the end, I mean, everything is going to be chronological order, you know, according to your jam. And then when you are done or when your student is done, they can simply come out here and do a share. Okay, they can share that with whoever they're wanting to. They can give people editing or just viewing uh, rights, just like we can with any sort of Google document. Um, or if you're not wanting that, uh, what they can also do is come up here to the ellipsis and they can come down and they can download this as a PDF. All right, so when it goes to actually create the PDF, it's gonna be a multiple page PDF, which is pretty cool. All right, and we go ahead and pick on the PDF. And the only thing I have found is, is that the GIF sometimes will show the first frame of the GIF or it just might be showing just sort of, you know, just this dummy icon. But, you know, I don't think it really matters in this case. I think a lot of us are just looking for something that's going to be able to fill the void of uh, the, uh, the actual hard copy engineering notebook. Maybe some people have actually not even had a, the ability to actually, you know, distribute engineering notebooks. I don't know. All right. But um, this might be uh, something that could be a big help for you. I just want to share that with all of you. And uh, hopefully you have some luck with that. So uh, good luck. There you go.